What's up you guys, it's really late over here in California. It is currently 12, 11 a.m. and I was just working on a Shadowlands Battleground video and then the footage got corrupted and I was about to go to bed, but then I noticed that they released a lot of new data mine info on Wowhead. I'll post a link in the info box below if you guys wanna check this out for yourself. Today we're covering mounts and some of the armor that was released. I'm gonna go through it quickly because again, I want you guys to go look for yourself and find this information for yourself, but I'll go through some of the stuff if you haven't seen it already. So we have some Ardenwald stags here. The stags, in my opinion, look a lot better than the current stags in the game, and the colors are really nice. I really like this zone Ardenwald. They have some amazing tones to the mounts, and they're pretty unique in terms of their colors. However, we do have current stags in BFA. I just think these look a lot better, and you'll also see one with like long, elongated horns. This one's currently my favorite. Again, the colors in this zone are in my opinion, some of my favorites, and it is a zone that I'll try to select the Covenant. Hopefully, the Covenant uh, abilities that you get from this zone are good for my class, but I haven't looked too much into it yet. Really like these colors, really like these mounts. I think they're pretty unique. You also have a mount from, I believe, I think this one's going to be from Maldraxxus. I can't confirm. I could be wrong. The Jailer Hound mount. This mount looks like it's almost missing its textures. I'm not sure if it was data mined too early or it's supposed to look like that. Not my favorite, but I think my friend really likes this one. I don't like too much of the darker stuff, but you know, everyone to each their own and what they personally enjoy. I think Blizzard did a really good job on a lot of these mounts, even if some of the models are similar to what we've seen in the past. I think the textures and the colors also look really good. This one in particular looks a lot like the honor level mount that you can earn through pursuing the honor level grind, which some players don't even know about, but it is a grind for PVP that you can just casually do over time, and you can get a mount that looks like this, but it has armor on it. However, the textures on it don't look as good in my opinion, and you can't see much of the mount due to the armor, and I think for some reason it looks better without, without the armor. So I do like this mount a lot, and I really do like the colors that are offered. We also have these giant vampire bats. There are bats in WoW currently, but these ones look, again, a lot better. Giant elongated fangs. The armor looks really cool. I'm a big fan of uh, the design here. I'm not a big fan of bat mounts, but... I actually do like this one. This one I know is from Maldraxxus, I'm almost certain, and it's a Chimera mount. All of the Maldraxxus mounts have this like facial feature, this bony facial feature to them, and this one looks pretty cool. I think you can get a few Chimera mounts in the game from different areas in the game, but these just look hands down a lot better. So once again, the art team in, in WoW has always done you know, relatively an amazing job, and this is no different. I really like the designs. This one, again, I think is from Ardenwald, and it is the Moth Mount. Really unique. I don't think we've seen many mounts like this in WoW at all, and the colors just look really good. These are the Vicious War Spiders. These are the mounts that you would earn from doing rated PvP. Just casually, you'll unlock this bar. That's how it at least works in BFA. You'll fill up a bar from doing PvP throughout the season, depending on how much you do, and then you will then unlock this mount. They have spiders. Armored spiders, pretty unique. Not a big fan of spiders in general, IRL in real life. I hate spiders, so probably not gonna be riding this mount, but if you do like spiders, they do have these on there. We have the Devourer Mite. This is pretty similar to some of the mounts that we've seen, I think from either, uh, it's either Nazmir Rep Gated or Voldoon Rep Gated, and, or it comes from Underrot. One of those areas, I know we have something like this, different facial features, same model though, and uh, colors are pretty interesting as well for a mount like this. We have the wing lion mount. I saw this one. I like this one a lot. Similar to a griffin, obviously it's a lion instead and it has a nice tail and the colors once again just look really vibrant, really cool, really refreshing coming from Battle for Azeroth. I like these a lot. And then we have these auto maiden lion mounts. They have like these like laser tails. I don't know what the hell that is. <laughs> I know <laughs> I would not know how to describe that at least, but very cool thematic. Could be from Bastion, not exactly sure, but I really do like the look of these mounts and it's one that I'd probably go after. I mean, just some of the colors here, again, are so vibrant and I really do like them. Giant Beast Mount. This one, I think, either comes armored as well. It's like a crazy goat. I don't know, a demonic goat. I don't know how you would describe it. Here's the armored versions of them. They look really good as well, so... A very unique mount. We don't have something like this currently in the game, at least from what I've seen. We have these like boars, these like skeletal boars. I, I would assume it comes from the same zone again. Maldraxxus boar mount. Again, you can tell from what zone they're from just based on some of the features. And again, Maldraxxus always has this bony feature to it. I like this mount a lot. 
not a big fan of some of the other mounts in that zone just because of how they look and they're a little too much for me but i really do like this one it's unique we also have this bear mount and this bear is like they call it a warg mount looks like a bear has this crazy alpha chin i mean this guy is just look at the jawline on this thing it is crazy and i think this one also comes with armor i really do like this mount and it's a mount that i'll probably go after as well with armor it almost looks like a rhino really like the colors on this mount big fan of some of the stuff they're putting out already lots of cool mounts we have the decomposer mount i think this is the last one they've released so far really do like this one as well pretty unique and I haven't seen anything like that so far in the current version of WoW. So big, big, big ups to Blizzard on these mounts so far. All right, now hopping into the armor sets, I'm going to go over the Orbos Questing and Bastion sets. This is what we have so far. Uh, this in particular just came out a few minutes ago. These are the cloth sets. So these are the questing cloth sets that you would acquire when going through Orbos. Honestly, the quest, this questing set looks a lot better than what you would get going through Battle for Azeroth. I really didn't like BFA's questing sets. Legion was okay. So far for me, these take the cake. Not a fan of this one. I don't know. I mean, obviously it's thematic. It looks like he has a bucket on his head. Not a fan of these at all, but the colors are okay. This set though, this set in particular looks really good. For a questing set, I almost don't believe it, but... Uh, it is a questing set, so this one looks amazing. It's kind of weird to go from, you know, this to this, but I love it. Absolutely love this as a questing set. This almost looks like a tier set. So Blizzard, you've done some amazing work with this expansion, and this looks really good, really good. I believe this might be the leather set as well. This is the leather armor set. Looks, you know, good, common for a questing set. Uh, what you'd expect pretty thematic i like the colors as well this one looks insane for a questing set this looks insane helmet maybe i'll take it off the shoulders look so damn good and i absolutely love the sets here i mean this color the purple one is my favorite by far absolutely love this one and then you have the male sets decent male starting set not that bad Again, something that I would transmog with. I really do like this. I'm a big fan of armor and sets and um, just in general item appearance. This is the plate, I believe. I like this set a lot. Again, I'm not a big fan of helmets, but I love the color variation. The purple one, again, steals the show for me. The white one looks really good. I don't know. These look really good but from Blizzard. I'm super happy with what they're putting out in terms of of the armor sets and the mounts all right really quickly we're going to hop into some of the other armor sets here on wowhead again if you guys want to see this stuff yourself and you want to check it out for yourself the link will be in the info box below and you can stay up to date with the own latest info that's getting data mined off the alpha really excited about this expansion so i've been keeping up to date with it uh, sitting at home okay we have the cloth armor sets here and cloth armor accessories cloth armor appearances ardenwald not my favorite cloth set but again i like the colors some acorn accessor accessories here Bastion also looking really nice for a cloth set, very plate-like. I think we saw this earlier from the zone in the other page. We have Maldraxxus now gear, uh, very Necromancer-esque. So if you're playing like a Warlock, I think this would look really good. Or a Shadow Priest, I like this for a cloth set. And you have the Maw Raid, so they're even leaking some of the Maw Raid gear. And the Raid gear, this is a really nice helmet. Textures are a little low, low-res picture, but I do like... Uh, the Ma Raid set for cloth. Love the shoulders. Uh, Orbos dungeon sets they're leaking out. Uh, Orbos questing. We saw something similar to this. The helmet. Not a fan of this bucket helmet though. We talked about that a bit earlier. Not a fan of the bucket helmet. I'm not sure. You know, I guess you're starting out with this, but just don't like the helmet in general there. Ravendreth. This helmet and the sets that come from here, the items that come from here look really sweet. I like this assassin vibe looks really cool and the colors are very nice very red you also have the leather sets not a fan of this arden helm uh just i don't know i don't really like it too much but the rest of the gear looks really good and then you have this bastion gear for leather this looks really nice for a leather set i like the vibe to this one the colors do well maldrax's leather sets also look very nice again having that necromancer bone vibe uh it could be good if you're like a rogue Orbos Dungeon for Rogue looks good. Orbos Questing. Ravendreth Rogue Set. This helmet is by far my favorite helmet I've seen so far. Absolutely love this one. Definitely has that assassin vibe to it. Love the colors to it as well. And the trim on the armor and the boots. 
They killed it on this one. Okay, hopping into Mail, Ardenweld, not too much to see here, but for Maldraxxus Mail, killing it. Absolutely love the look of this armor. Very unique, uh, very refreshing. I think it looks great across the board. The shoulders, they're killing it. Love the design on this one. Orbos Dungeon for Mail. We also have the Plate Armor uh, starting zone. This helmet, I like a lot from Ardenweld. I love the plate set from this zone. I'm not sure why, I just love the colors and how it looks. Very unique, never seen anything like this in WoW before. Might not be your cup of tea, but I personally really like it. And then we did see the Bastion set for plate as well. Very unique and nice. The Maldraxxus set again. So hopefully Maldraxxus does have good covenant abilities because across the board, their sets look really cool and unique and giving that Nax Ramus vibe. Really like these armor sets from uh, from Maldraxxus. It looks insane across the board. So big fan. Now the Maul Raid for Plate. If you look at the Maul Raid for Plate, this helmet kills it. This helmet is so good. It is so good. I can't wait to do the raid. I usually don't play any plate classes except Paladin. So maybe I'll go for it on my Paladin. But I love the look of this set. The textures on this look so good. I'm very excited to play this expansion and get some new armor sets. I mean, across the board, it just looks so good, especially if you're a death knight or like a warrior. We have the Orbos dungeon for plate, a lot of questing. Ravendreth, again, having some really nice sets as well. Four plate, nice helmet, and nice trim. So ultimately, guys, that are some of the stuff that's been leaked, or that is some of the stuff that's been leaked on the WoWhead page. If you guys want to check it out for yourself, Feel free to go check out the link in the info box below. I'll keep you guys updated as much as I can. Look out for my Battleground video coming out soon, and I'll see you guys in the alpha.